be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. To legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, August 29th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Irrational confidence is so important with any individual or team sport, especially for great athletes, because if you don't have an unwavering belief that you can do things that no one else in the world can do, all falls apart quickly. And if you're Samson Dowda heading into your first Olympia prep at 330 pounds, your confidence has to be through the roof right now. When Samson released his updates a few days ago, the genuine consensus from everyone across the board was that he's got a wow factor to him that you don't always see with guys who are about to make their Olympia debut. His mid-season, off-season was obviously incredibly productive because he's never been this lean at over 300 pounds. And I think that's one of the things that makes him so intriguing as an X Factor this year. His trajectory still feels like it's trending up, which means that if he can put together another solid stretch over the next four months, he could be looking at a top 10 finish and better when it's all said and done. Since we're already talking about open X Factors, we figured that this was a good time to segue into the new update from Hosan Mustafa because he's also someone who has the potential to be a part of those top 10 conversations this year. I think it goes without saying that Hassan is clearly having the best year of his pro career, with two huge wins that erased any question marks that people had about whether or not he could achieve the level of conditioning he needed to to be able to compete at the highest level. For Hassan, the conditioning was the final piece, because we've known for a long time that he checks almost every other single box across the board. So if he stays consistent, and does what he does all year long, there's no reason to think that he can't challenge Samson for a spot somewhere in that top 10 group. Next up, we have a new update from longtime friend of the show, Patrick Moore, who seems like he's really starting to hit his stride now. Recently, Patrick came out and confirmed that he underwent surgery back in May for a ruptured Achilles tendon, which put him on the sidelines for a few weeks while he dealt with the fallout of that. According to Patrick, this was the first major injury or setback that he's had to deal with in his pro career, which can be a lot, especially with these type of injuries that seem to come out of nowhere. But at least for the moment, 14 weeks post-surgery, he feels good about where he is and believes that he's on track to hit the 2023 season head-on as a bigger and better version of what we saw during last year's Olympia run. So assuming he stays healthy and that he keeps himself locked in, he should be right where he needs to be when it's time for him to start his first prep of the year. We had another big comeback in the mix for the 2023 season coming from Men's Physique following the announcement from four-time Olympia champ Jeremy Buendia that he's officially coming out of retirement next year to make a run at reclaiming his spot at the top of the division. Jeremy's been flirting with the notion of a comeback for the better part of the last two years, but for one reason or another, it just never managed to materialize. However, over the last few months, we've seen the former champ put together the best stretch of health and training that he's had in years, since back when he was at the peak of his powers, and the changes that he's made over that span have been pretty incredible. He still has a long way to go, but you can see that he's rebuilt the foundation once again, which is at least half the battle, because from here on out, it's about building himself back up so he can be competitive in this new version of the division that has been evolved over the last couple of years. Now, whether or not he fits into the new era of men's physique is something that only time will tell. But if he is dead set on making this a reality, watch out, because he can change the entire narrative if he gets back to championship form. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.